So now I want to talk and shift gears about attracting business, attracting it and not chasing it. Most agents have to sell someone on using them. But imagine having appointments drop in your calendar with them already predisposed to your process and your brand. You could capture people from a casual conversation or grab the high hanging fruits in your database. So let's talk about your marketing and sales. So how do you get what you offer visible through marketing so that appointments start dropping in your calendar? A funnel. <laughs> and if you've heard of a funnel before, tune out for the next 20, 30 seconds. But if, if you have not, pay close attention. I dismissed funnels for a long time because I just basically thought they were just a landing page that captures information. But what is actually what a funnel actually is, is your offer, your core offer, whatever you offer presented in a linear process to get someone from point A, clicking on whatever, to point B, to being a client that's sold, right? Got to take them down the funnel, take them down the stages, tofu, mofu, bofu, top of funnel, middle of funnel, bottom of funnel. So it's a linear process though. A website, this is why websites fail. You drop them off at the website. It's like dropping somebody off at a store and hoping they find your product, hope, hoping that it's communicated the, the right, right way. It's like bringing somebody into the back door of a house and showing it to them the wrong way, right? You bring somebody through the front door and you show them things in a certain order so it's presented properly. And that's what a funnel is. So they all use it, right? This is the OG Russell Brunson, uh, click funnels. Um, you know, Uncle G, Grant Cardone uses funnels. Tarek on HGTV uses funnels. Damon John, a lot of celebrities have a funnel built for them. So let me ask you a question. Why should I hire you? You specifically, why should I hire you? 90% of agents say they'll work harder than anybody else or they're an honest person or they can guide you the best. I was asked this myself, to be fair with you, in 2017 and I was in Starbucks, <laughs> quick story. I couldn't answer the question. I, um, it was a buddy of mine and we knew, I knew I was going to list his house and, you know, he, he, I caught me off guard. We were just getting our coffee and he's like, you know, well, why should I use you by the way? Like over Susie over here, or, you know, whatever other agent. And, uh, I was like, what do you mean? Why should you use me? Why should you use me? You're my friend. Like you're, you know, my kids, you're taking money out of my kids' mouths if you don't use me. Okay. That's self-serving. That doesn't work. You've got to solve a problem for the person, for the consumer that you're working with, right? Amazon. I hate Amazon's bills. I mean, my God, the, the bills, the money I spend on Amazon is sickening, but Amazon solves a problem. I forgot a board game when I was going up back home to Pittsburgh. I was going to play it with my dad and I didn't have much time in the schedule to run to a store. I was on the airplane. I actually saw could on Amazon Prime could be delivered tomorrow to my dad's house. I don't have to run to the store. It doesn't take up that time. I have a busy schedule. Solves a problem. So you need to solve a problem for the people you're trying to, to get, not think selfishly that you're the best or get your ego out there. So you've got to do that. You've got to have your elevator pitch together, how, how, what you offer articulated in an elevator in 30 seconds or less, right? So here's some old ones we used to use. So we use the simple home finder system. We use the simple home finder system to take the guesswork out of finding a home. This five-step process has helped hundreds of buyers achieve their vision. Well, we were already, we, you probably do most of the things we did, right? We were, we did five things. We wrote down their criteria, step one. We had them do a survey, an intake form. We actually just used Google Forms before in the past, step two. Step three, we set them up on an auto search, cool. Step four, we recommended five to 10 homes. And step five, we reviewed that with them weekly, right? But we, we had a process and we, we articulated that to them. They saw that value because, you know, I, I showed them in a quick statement and they, and they, they got it. It, it resonated with them. You could be the best agent or the most intelligent person in the world, but if you can't communicate it to your audience, it's wasted. So the, for sellers, we used to use, I used to use the triple cheeseburger method. My wife would never say this one because she thought it was stupid, but I liked it because it caught attention. When you say triple cheeseburger relative to real estate, everybody's like, what is going on? I like to name things. Anyway, I, uh, I would say, you know, okay, we use the triple cheeseburger method to focus on what matters most when selling a home. And that is expert guidance, closing coordination, and massive marketing. Again, what we were already doing, that was just how we articulated it to them, was we had listing agents on our team going through extensive training. Um, we had an admin doing closing coordination, and my wife was the marketing department. If it looked good, she did it. <laughs> um, so, and we do this because value not articulated is value not appreciated. If you lost somebody and they didn't see your value, you didn't properly articulate it to them. They're not stupid for not seeing it. It's your fault for not showing it. And seeing 
is believing. It's one thing to tell them, but to show them and make it visible, that's really, that's really the trick. If you, you, you make your value visible. So give them a free workshop. Give them a free workshop. We've been doing this with a lot of our agents. We have a buyer negotiation workshop or a buyer workshop or a home selling workshop. You can title them different things. Uh, some of the common titles are how to buy a home even in today's market um, or you know, how, to, how to negotiate on a home in today's market or on the seller side, how to get top dollar for your home with our proven process. And we just create this workshop and we do it in a funnel. We do it in a funnel. But what this is, this workshop shows on, on the buyer side what we offer. It gives them a chance to see our core offer, what we believe, what, how the process should go in the order it should go in and, and learn about us and our isms through that free workshop. And then on the seller side, obviously, our method or our mentality for how we get top dollar for a home. And it shows that core offer and we do it in a funnel. We put a landing page out, right? They sign up, they get the, the free webinar, kind of like you're on here today. It's a similar funnel. You have a schedule a call, they schedule a call with you. So, and now you think about this, you run into somebody at a store, somebody you might've went to high school with or something. And, you know, I'm thinking about selling in like four months or six months, I don't, whatever, right? You know, down there, what do you do? Well, don't, don't forget about me, you know, like, you know, or I'll text you or we need to talk or let's have lunch, right? There's six months down the road. It's so much easier. It's, 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 it's game changing when you can go, oh, you are, well, th- go, go to, go to chadsellingguide.com. It, it'll show you how we get top dollar for, for homes. You can check it out. It's a free video, sign up and, and you get it. And you think, and they go home and they go on the landing page, they sign up, you got their info. So you know, they're really serious because they've signed up, right? They watch it. You can track how much they watch it if you want. Uh, they schedule a call with you at some point, or maybe even they rewatch it, right? So now you have an appointment dropping in your calendar. They may also fill out the survey. So now you've got extra info before you've even spoken to them. And then you have a thank you page. And also with them and with anybody you don't know, you've just built rapport with somebody. You've had an opportunity to build more rapport or be in front of them five times, right? On the landing page, obviously this example doesn't, but you're there. You can put your picture on it. On the webinar, do you talking? On the call, you're there. Your branding's there. On the stra- on the survey, you're there. Your branding's there. And then on the thank you page, obviously you're talking as well. And I have a course guide that goes A to Z uh, with our platform on how to build these buyer and seller workshops to get your core value, uh, or sorry, your core offer visible 